Well, it's really a pleasure to be back this winter with my teaching my second Ollie class. This is a brand new class, um, experimental, and in fact it's called Experimenting with Memoir Across Genre Workshop. So this is really a class or a writing workshop um, designed for those who are interested in exploring, you know, describing their personal histories, their life stories, which I think is something that often as we get into the later chapters of our lives, we get more intrigued about recording those earlier chapters. Um, but this is not necessarily for those who want to start, you know, with, uh, you want to use a, li a linear, you know, narrative or chronology. So it's not a sort of, you know, I was born in blah, blah, I grew up in blah, blah, my parents were blah, blah, etc. But what we, what I want to do, or what I hope to have you do, is to experiment with both prose and poetry, um, to describe moments of being, so sort of fragmentary kind of things, in, in order to, as Emily Dickinson says, to quote, tell the truth, but tell it slant. <laughs> so, um, what, Mary? <laughs> tell the truth, but tell it slant, was Dickinson's famous, famous admonition. So, um, we will be mining these moments of our personal history to create memoir fragments. Um, and we'll be reading a number of contemporary writers who have done this in both prose and poetry and those sort of on the border of prose and poetry. Um, and then that will be the first half of the class, more or less. And then the second half, we will be using certain techniques uh, as points of departure for our own in-class writing exercises um, and developing our voices as writers um, in a workshop that respects the work of both uh, brand new writers and more experienced writers. So don't be shy if you haven't really ever written anything before other than uh, something required by the IRS. Um, so my schedule, oh, and we will also look at the writing process the whole, you know, beginning with early drafts and then revising. You'll be encouraged at times to revise something to bring in for the next class. And there will be a chance, especially at the very end, for a, a sharing with the entire, entire class. Let me uh, give you my, briefly, my schedule as it, there is a syllabus over there too. So week one is getting started and digging through childhood. So among other pieces that we'll read will be uh, Seamus Heaney's famous poem called Digging um, and Lynn Lifshin's less well-known poem called My Mother in the Bed. And I, I'm going to stop for a minute and give a quick example of, a specific example of the kind of exercise that we're going to do with this poem. So the, I'll read you the, just the first stanza of My Mother in the Bed. No, not that way, she'd say when I was seven, pulling the bottom sheet smooth. You've got to, saying, hospital corners. By the way, she ends with, she thinks of my life as a bed only she can make right. But we would take the, those first two lines. No, not that way, she'd say when I was seven. And first we'd brainstorm, you know, what, what are some things that you remember that a parent or a grandparent or an aunt or uncle or teacher would say to you all the time, you know. And that would be your point of departure. So maybe I would start with, you know, cut it out, you kids, or something my mother used to say, or six of one, half dozen of the other, my grandma would always remind me. Anyway, you'd start with a line, and then you would do a free write, you know, springing from that line. Like, what, what memories come for you when you think about that line? You know, what, what sort of smells, what was cooking in the kitchen, um, what was the itchy hand-me-down sweater that you had to wear, you know, the sound of your sister fighting in the hallway. You know, very specific sense memories that we're going to evoke, hopefully, through this exercise. And then you'll have a, what I call a zero draft, and we'll talk about ways of turning that zero draft into a more finished piece. So, uh, very, very quickly, Week two will be on adolescence and coming of age. This is tentative, but week three, merging the personal and political. 
So recently, of course, with the JFK anniversary, a lot of us were telling stories about where and when we were, when we heard this news. So we'll look at a number of poets who have, not with that event, but with other events, such as the day Billie Holiday died, a poem by Frank O'Hara, uh, a poem about the Vietnam birthday lottery, a poem by Vietnamese writer Truong Tran, called 43075, about the fall of Saigon. We'll, we'll, we'll brainstorm a, a, a date that has significance and resonance for us and talk about, write about the sort of the ways that our personal lives have merged with the political, with the national or international world. Um, week four is birth and death. Um, we'll read from Donald Hall's Without, the memoir of losing his wife. Uh, week five is poetic conversations. Uh, which we'll borrow, we'll do some of the poems that I wrote in my book, The Translator's Sister, prose, actually, prose poems. And week six will be author's chair, where we um, are encouraged to revise and bring in a, a slightly more polished work to read to the class. So I'm really jazzed about it. I hope you are too, and I hope to see you. Thanks.